What is going on everyone? David here. Today, I'm gonna to be giving a tour of my $3,000 PC streaming setup. Also, speaking of live streaming, if you guys wanna watch me play scary games, <laughs> or have any suggestions, or you wanna come hang out with me, my kick link is gonna be in the description. So literally, let's just start off with the entire PC itself. Here is my PC. The tower itself was about $200. I also do have three RGB style Corsair fans running. Those were about 70 bucks. Uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, which was about 110 bucks. And each of these RAM sticks are eight gigabytes. And then I have the MSI GeForce 3060 graphics card. That was about 300 bucks. I also am running an Intel i9, and that's about 400 bucks. That was pretty pricey. And then the motherboard is an MSI motherboard. That's a, that was about 200 bucks. And then I do have a Samsung memory drive in there. That was about 100 bucks. Corsair Power Supply was about 100 bucks. The MSI liquid cooling was about a hundred and like twenty bucks, I think. And then moving up here, I have the Zenzik SA30 boom arm, which is connected to the Fiduce SL40. By the way, this mic sounds really good, guys. I, I I really like it, and I've already had some people say that this mic sounds really good. Kind of just have to like mess with the volume settings, and like how sensitive it is. But it's a dynamic mic, so it picks up like your voice very clear and it has like no background sounds like I can't really pick it up at all which is which is nice also I'm running a cheap Acer monitor that I took from my old PC setup um, this was pretty cheap I think it was like 100 bucks as well and I use this to read chat uh, make sure that my stream is going good and just pretty much everything else that I'm not doing besides gaming this monitor I use for gaming and I got this monitor for about 300 bucks um, this is just a gaming monitor from Asus. The face cam I'm using is an Elgato face cam. And this was about 150 bucks. The quality on this is really good too, by the way, guys. If you have good lighting, which honestly, I don't have the best lighting right now. Uh, speaking of lighting, this is the Elgato key light. And this was actually more than the face cam. The key light was about 200 bucks. And it's really good. Like the, the lighting on it is like way more clear than like the Logitech ones or just the cheaper ones. Um, I believe there's a company called like Newer or something. And I've had, a, I've seen a lot of reviews on how much better the Elgato is softer. The reason why my lighting isn't the best is because you're actually supposed to run two of these. Um, I didn't have the budget to buy a second one. So I just bought one for now. Um, but in the future, I will buy a second one and I'm going to have them like across from each other. I am running my light right now in the middle just to get the best lighting for what I can do right now. But I'm going to have one in the corner over here and then another one in the corner. And then I'm going to have it just like that and it'll look a lot better. Keyboards from Razer, about 60 bucks. This is the Sonosa version 2, I believe. Uh, Razer Basilisk V3. This is about 70 bucks. And then my headset I use, um, I don't use it anymore for the mic, so I just have that up all the time. Uh, these are A20s. The headphones itself are pretty good. The mic's not the best, to be honest, but the headphones, like to listen to game sounds and listen to other people talking, it's pretty good. And it, I bought this for $150, but they're a lot cheaper now, I believe. I think you can get them for like 110 bucks now. The gaming desk I got is actually really awesome. I really do like the gaming desk. This was about, the gaming desk was actually pretty cheap and it's really sturdy. It's $70 off Amazon. It's called a Firmax gaming desk. These are, these are just like little stuff it comes with, like the headphone holder. So that way I can just have convenience right at my hands while I'm streaming or editing or just hanging out with stream. But yeah guys, simple and straight to the point. I pretty much live stream every day and I really enjoy playing scary games. So if you guys do wanna come hang out with me and chat and help me play these scary games because I literally don't know what I'm doing half the time, it'll definitely be a blast. But if you guys have any questions on my setup or if you guys need help with anything, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you guys out. Actually, literally as I'm recording this video, I, I'm uploading a file. I just recently played an indie developer game called Buried and it was actually a lot of fun. It wasn't really long, but it wasn't really a long game, but it was still like a spooky kind of game. A few games I do really want to play is Choo Choo Charles, Granny, Emily Wants to Play, and, I, and Crimson Snow. 
I, I've heard that one was a really scary one. I know it's hard to see right now on camera, but this is my stream startup screen. I literally hired people from Fiverr to do this for me. So it says stream starting, it has my YouTube and my TikTok right there. And then my follower goal at the bottom. And then whenever I transition, let's say I want to go to face cam. Look at that transition, the lightning bolt with the night and everything. That's so sick. And then here I am. Got my socials at the top right and then my following at the bottom, my follower goal. And then if I'm ever going somewhere, I got a beer back screen as well. It's so clean. I love it. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up my $3,000 PC streaming setup. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit bell notification so that way you guys get notified on every single time I upload. Make sure you smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time.